this video, we're gonna look at the Caldwell Emacs Pro BT Ear Pro, fully featured Ear Pro without the fully featured price. Gavin Gu here from UltimateReloader.com. In this video, I want to introduce you to Caldwell's new hearing protection, the Emacs Pro BT. This is a part of our budget shooting and reloading series. In fact, you can click on that playlist right here on the YouTube channel. This set of hearing protection has a lot of features, including Bluetooth connectivity. You can listen to your favorite tunes. It's got active hearing protection. It's battery powered. But if you go to the Caldwell website, you're going to see these listed for about $50, which represents a tremendous value. I put this hearing protection to the test here on the ranch. Let me tell you all the things I've done so far. Of course, I've done a bunch of shooting with Caldwell's Emacs Pro BT, including both suppressed and non-suppressed shooting. I've shot rifles, I've shot pistols, I've shot steel, I've shot prone at 700 yards with a long range rifle. This hearing protection does a great job and what's great about active hearing protection is you get amplified sound in your ears, in this case from stereo microphones that are built right into the hearing protection. So you can have conversations, you can communicate with people and shoot at the same time without ruining your ears. Here at Ultimate Reloader, we use hearing protection for a lot more than just shooting. This is firewood production season and the Emacs Pro BT have come in real handy. While I've been using my backhoe to move giant logs around, I've used a chainsaw to cut those logs up, used the backhoe to transport the firewood and used a log splitter to chop up the wood. What's great about this hearing protection is I can run it in passive mode without being turned on. I can turn them on and have active hearing protection, hold a discussion with someone. And then of course with Bluetooth, I can listen to my music while I'm doing all these tasks. Love it. So let's talk about features and construction. So first, this hearing protection is powered by three AAA batteries. This hearing protection came with three Energizer batteries. That is a nice touch because that's one less expense that you have and on this kind of a budget, I'm pretty happy with that. The battery door is one of the side plates. You pull on the bottom here, it pops off, you get access to the batteries, and then when you're done changing the batteries or inserting them for the first time, you just snap it back in place. We've also got three buttons on the right-hand side. There's the C Caldwell button. This does two things. It turns the hearing protection on and off, and then if you do a short press while it's on, it will toggle the Bluetooth connectivity on and off, so that's nice. If you don't want your music playing, tap the button, it's gonna turn off. If you wanna to listen to your music, tap the button and start playing your music. I'll get to the Bluetooth pairing procedure in just a little bit here. And then we've got the plus and minus volume buttons. So by feel, you can feel the side and then turn your volume up and down, which is also nice. That controls volumes for two functions. It controls the volume for the microphone amplified ambient sound that you're gonna hear, except when muzzle blast is happening. It gets turned off during that, of course, to protect your ears. And then also the volume of the Bluetooth music that might be playing via your phone. These are adjustable. They fold up, which is pretty typical for hearing protection in this day and age. It's got this, this nice main piece on the top here that basically applies the right amount of clamping force to keep the hearing protection on your head, but not so much what you might have experienced with some hearing protection where it feels like after an hour of wearing them that your head is in a vise. <laughs> Definitely not that. The wires are tucked out of the way, kind of on the top, which is nice. There's no wires on the side to, to kind of get snagged and, and be in the way. So I'm obviously someone that wears glasses and the material and the pliability of these cushions on the side are really important because A, I don't want the temples of my glasses to get squeezed into my head and B, it needs to be able to form around them and not leak sound in when you've got things like muzzle blast going on. And I feel like these provide a good balance between ruggedness and that you know, pliability so that uh, you don't get that sound leakage. Worked good. Uh, I can adjust my glasses with them on. That's another thing that is important for comfort and convenience. You can see the microphones here. They've got fairly large grills on both, both sides and they seem to pick up sound really well. So overall, with a 24 decibel noise reduction factor, these are a great 
versatile set of hearing protection for shooting and for other tasks. So the last thing I want to talk about is how simple the Bluetooth connectivity is. This button, which is illuminated, it's a really nice feature. You can tell when the hearing protection is turned on, actually turns off after four hours of no button presses. We'll turn the hearing protection on when you hold it for about two seconds. Then you let go. Now if you give it a very quick press, it's gonna turn on Bluetooth. If you have your phone in discovery mode, I have an iPhone, it just showed up as Caldwell, tap on Caldwell, and it's connected. It really couldn't get any easier than that. And like I said, I've used the Bluetooth functionality for listening to music while I'm operating the machinery, while I've been running the chainsaw, while I've been shooting, and it works good. I like to have that. I like to have my music when I'm plowing snow for four hours. That is a really big bonus, and I don't have to give up my hearing protection to turn on my backhoe speakers at the same time. So overall, this hearing protection is really hard to beat at that $50 price point. I was really shocked when I looked up the pricing on this and saw just how affordable this hearing protection is. Here's my question for you. What do you think of this hearing protection and what are you running? Drop a comment and we'll start a discussion. That concludes this video and that means it's time to wrap it up. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Also, make your voice heard. If you have something to say, please drop a comment. Make sure you're subscribed with notifications because you're not going to want to miss the awesome content that is coming up. And finally, flex your reloading pride. You could look great in one of these t-shirts. We've got multiple designs at the Ultimate Reloader store. I'll see you later because I'm off to go shooting.